All right, guys, welcome indeed to just a crazy deck. This is going to be a troll deck that's all about utilizing uh, some burn damage. It's a burn troll deck, but it's also trap tricks. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it. Trap tricks, troll, uh, grave hole, uh, shower deck, I guess is what we're going to call it, because we have burn damage with, of course, grave hole. And if you guys haven't seen this card, it's actually a pretty decent card, um, and it can actually stop some of the hand traps. And when your opponent activates a monster effect in their hand or graveyard or their banished monster's effect, you get to negate that effect and then burn your opponent for 2,000 points of damage. So not only does it stop the card, but you're also dealing damage. Um, if this card was a quick play spell, this card would be absolutely amazing. But in addition to that, it's got uh, some troll cards like Ubel over here with the uh, Neos Kluger. You're going to be able to deal a bunch of burn damage, even though this monster has more attack, doesn't matter. He's just going to take 4,000, and then he's going to go ahead and activate that effect, and then Gravehole is there once again, going to go ahead and just burn him. And you have instantly... Uh, put your opponent at half of their life points with just two copies of Gravehole, and you stop them twice. This card, I, I really think it's a pretty decent card. And on top of that, Autumn Shower, whenever they have a monster, you can go ahead and negate its effects, and then on top of that, whenever it leaves the field uh, this turn, you're going to be taking damage equal to the amount of attack that it had. So with two of these and one of these against, well, if you could use this against this card over here, um, that would be game. It's just going to be very, very fast indeed. Uh, but there is a few things that I do want to mention here, um, which is kind of like a, a learning experience that you guys will see here. We've got Cauldron of the Old Man. This is, like I said, it's a burn troll deck, and I really haven't seen any troll decks emerge out of 2020. Also, we're using the new Master Rule uh, format for this video. Uh, but for the most part, um, it's because most of these burn decks are a little bit too slow. They just don't happen to have the speed to keep up with most decks here. Uh, but I think while Cauldron of the Old Man, um, it can get pretty nasty. Like the amount of damage or the amount of healing that you can get uh, can get absurd if you can make it last that long. But most of the time it won't last that long. I don't think I would really recommend playing Cauldron of the Old Man in 2020. Okay, so this is an important thing to mention. If you chain your stuff wrong or if the monster leaves the field before autumn shower gets to resolve its effect because it has to have that monster's effect negated and applied before the monster leaves the field so in this instance he will not get the burn for 2000 uh but i mean at the end of the day uh that would be what you would want to do so you'd be able to burn your opponent for extra and magic cylinder is like one of the best cards in time uh, from what I understand, people still run Magic Cylinder uh, into tying. There's also Emergency Provisions. These are for people that are really setting up to stall for time, and it does happen in Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> it 100% happens. But once again, we're seeing the Neos Kluger. Every time I see this card, I always think it's going to be Dragon of Red Eyes, but not today. We got the Neos Kluger, and right now he's already got the Cauldron of the Old Man, so his opponent setting a card doesn't really matter at the end of the day, but it's, we've also seen the Dark Room of Nightmare over here. I, again, these cards, I think, are just too slow, so if you want to make it more competitive i will give you guys some suggestions for this because i think this deck can work quite well um on its own without some of the slower burn cards dark sanctuary can be okay too again because it does technically prevent you from actually dying plus it does the burn damage like you need your cards to give a lot of insane value um this day and age, uh, if you want to try to play like a burn or a troll deck. So he's going to go ahead and trap trick. He's going to go ahead and place Waking the Dragon, which you could argue is a bad idea, but some of the trap trick cards, you can actually bounce back some of the card and fake out your opponent. But we got Grave Holder, so that's going to go ahead and stop the Ash Blossom. So he's going to go ahead and get that search out, and then he's going to go ahead and able to bring out that Neos Kluger once again. And when Neos Kluger does go away, he basically brings out the same exact card uh, with the effect of also gaining some heals too, uh, which is pretty troll. You guys will see it, but this is versus Sen Senka's. Uh, which is an archetype that can swarm relatively fast, but overall there's not enough disruption in the deck. So he gets rid of that card, and then Neos Wiseman just comes out. He's going to go ahead and reduce the Neos Wiseman's attack. He's going to go ahead and attack over the Predator Plant, but that lands on head, so he's going to go ahead and take that damage. This one lands on tails. Now he's going to go ahead and special summon another card. He takes 28, but Neos Wiseman is also going to go ahead and burn his opponent for 3300. So he got trolled. He probably didn't read the card effect, and that's what I love with troll decks, or these rogue, like, anti-meta-ish. Um, decks. I, I consider Tribe Trick definitely a rogue deck. Here it is up against Sub Terrors, which uh, I guess is a little bit more meta. He's going to go ahead and set the crackdown and go ahead and pass. Uh, we've got a Lava Golem. We've got the Magic Cylinder over here. So he's going to go ahead and summon Double Monsters and activate Cauldron of the Old Man. Starting that burn damage, going to go ahead and go for a Flesia over here so he can go ahead and get some extra trap cards. He's going to go ahead and activate Trap Tricks and go ahead and place Waking the Dragon. Now, Waking the Dragon is a lot better in the new Master Rule uh, format because it 
technically allows you to bring out that extra monster. Um, because before, if you went to Durandal, where your opponent would pop the card, uh, you wouldn't have that extra monster zone. Um, unless, of course, you had another... You would, you would have to have a Link monster, then make Durandal, which is not the easiest thing for most decks to do. Um, unless you're playing, like, maybe Cyber Dragons, but... Again, this card just becomes infinitely better. Now his opponent's gonna go and take some burn damage because of Love Clone. He can attack and get trolled by the Magic Cylinder. I, I just, I love seeing cards that uh, are very iconic. Like, everyone knows Magic Cylinder, right? Uh, but you just don't see a lot of these decks see the play. I think Magic Cylinder is still pretty viable. Again, I would say that this card, while it is pretty trollsy, um, it's just not that viable uh, going into um, the uh, current format and especially in the future uh, but this card is still really good and uh, again going back to what I was talking about before this deck gets even more troll um, uh, dude, where is it where is he you, you gotta put beaver warrior in the deck I gotta give a shout out to my boy Tsubasa for wanting one of the best cards in Yu-Gi-Oh but uh, again that uh, to lose track of it. Yeah, Grave Hole is still a fantastic card and I can highly recommend it um, just in general. It doesn't even have to be in burn decks. I think it could even be side decked into time too because not only do you stop your opponent from going off, but again, you're dealing 2,000 points of damage and some decks, if they play Destrudo, I mean, they have their life points. Uh, really good stuff. Now he, the guy's actually playing Trap Tricks as well. He goes ahead and pops with Marmillo. He hits the Waking the Dragon and he, and he goes ahead and goes into the Flower Cardian Light Flare, which when this card goes away, he still actually has another target so it's just troll all over the place uh you do definitely do not want to uh, pop the random back row but if you don't um you could actually lose out to uh things like soaring mirror force which is another uh quality troll card so he's gonna go ahead and make a uh exceed play over here so he's gonna go ahead and activate that effect of uh, Ramillo. Uh, of course, it was Grave Hold this time. It wasn't another Waking the Dragon. And then he gets hit by the Storming Mirror Force, and he goes, I'm done, dude. Look at that. He's got this much back row, but all of this stuff doesn't matter because, uh, well, not only can this card stop one of the cards anyways, but it's also got 5,000 attack, and it doesn't really matter. Uh, he's got game because he's already got his board established. But anyways, I want to give you guys a deck profile for this because, uh, again, it's something a little bit different. And while I do want to say that you can make this deck better by probably not playing some of these cards, I want to give you guys the deck profile uh, for it. And then I'm going to make some suggestions just in case any of you guys do want to go ahead and try to play like a burn troll deck. And again, the the star cards of it are actually just going to be these two. Uh, we, we, we didn't get to see this card uh, make it game, but we did see Grave Hole make it game. But you can definitely utilize the Evening Crescent here. And if your opponent special summons something during your turn, uh, which there, there was one of the replays, but I felt like it dragged out too much. Uh, but there was a replay when the guy went for Ritual Beast and he sp special summoned during uh, the, the, the Trap Tricks player's turn, and he's able to go ahead and activate this. So if your opponent special summons something during your turn, you can hit them with the Autumn Shower and then instantly attack over the monster, and then they will also take that monster's damage instantly, which can be quite great because that is already going to be proccing off of, let's say, a newest Kluger. So you can make them take like. Not only the damage from the battle from Neos Kluger, but this card is going to inflict that burn damage. Plus, you're going to get double burn damage of the monster's attack with the Autumn Shower. So, it can actually get pretty good. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and go over the deck profile normally, and then I'll go ahead and kind of uh, make some suggestions in case you guys want to take it more seriously. Anyways, Neos, uh, then we got Beaver Warrior, we got the Neos Wiseman, we got Mykeon, the Time Lord, Yubel, Lava Golem, Trap Tricks, Atrax, two copies of Diona, uh, three copies of Mermillo, three copies of Carnatus. Three copies of Goblinburg, three copies of Nymthes, three copies of Autumn Shower. Uh, we got one US Fusion. This is just here because you of the Master Rule. And then we've got Dark Room Nightmare, two copies of Cauldron of the Old Man, and then two copies of Dark Sanctuary. Then we've got three copies of Shrub Serpent, RK, Waking the Dragon. And then we've got two copies of Bottomless and two copies of the Trap Tricks uh, uh, Whole Nightmare. And then we've got two copies of Quaking Mirror Force, two copies of Magic Cylinder, one copy of Dimension Wall, one copy of Floodgate Trap Hole, three copies of Trap Tricks, one copy of Treacherous, and then two copies of Grave Hole over here. Um, so suggestions to make this deck maybe a little bit better. Uh, I, I think he, he, he was also playing Stormy at one point, but you guys can make your own decisions on this. I think I'd rather get the burn damage in because that actually makes a game where this would stall and then you'd still have to have a follow-up play. Obviously the Beaver Warrior is 100% troll. There's no reason why that should be actually be in here. I think that you can make this a little bit better by uh, removing some of the cards that would technically be a little bit too slow. Um, I would probably max out on Grave well, I think it's an excellent card and it does burn damage very, very fast. I also think that uh, one thing that would make this deck so much better um, 
is mixing in this card specifically with Time Lords. Uh, I believe it's S. Is it Sadion? I forgot the exact name. There's one that just makes your opponent's life points go into half. Uh, oh, it's your life points. Is it Kamon? Uh, there's there's two Time Lords. Let me get the, let me get the names right. It's been a while since I saw the Time Lords, but there's one that uh, deals like 2,000 damage, and there's also one that halves your opponent. Is it Sandion? Uh, okay, this one's pretty good. This one deals the 2,000 points of damage. Okay, so I would recommend, uh, yes, Sandion, uh, where is it? Uh, at the end of the battle phase, if it uh, battles, you get to inflict 2,000 damage to your opponent. Yeah, definitely run a Sandion. And then also, um, there's one that says half, half your opponent's. I forgot the exact word on it. it it's one of the. Uh, I should. I should. I should have remembered it. But we're we're good. We're gonna do it live. Uh, or is it Hal Halion? Uh, you inflict damage equal to the difference. No, that's not this one. Th anyways, uh, you know what? I'll just. Pin, uh, I'll I'll put a pin comment, or someone will probably comment, and I'll and I'll, I'll, and I'll pin your comment or a hard or something. But there's one that halves your opponent's life points, and then in addition to that, you play the Sadion, and then uh, pretty much once you have your opponent's life points, then Sadion once or. Uh, do one of these all you need is one extra card and that can go ahead and make a game if you really want to troll even harder you can run uh paths <coughs> of destiny and rng and um just go ahead and burn them i mean at the end of the day it's a troll deck and i, I love seeing these kinds of things just go off and win because you don't see them uh, anymore i felt like the troll decks just haven't seen some play in a while so i wanted to give this deck a little shout out shout outs once again to my homie subasa oh we got to go ahead and go over the extra deck over here uh for of course you're waking the dragon targets i really also recommend uh to play um uh if you wanted to play this card just in general you can't really make it in this deck unless you really swapped up things but uh this card would be excellent uh in addition to making your opponent forced to pop one of their card uh your cards but we got neos kluger and then we also uh had the neos wiseman which you guys saw the guy got trolled by it but we got light flare and then uh light shower so basically this will go into this and this will go into this and we got uh, stardust dragon over here and then we got i'm guessing he was also thinking about playing uh starlight road which has gotten a lot better now because before you wouldn't have the extra monster zone right uh and then we have the ultimate falcon for copies of uh, alumiris we got three copies of Aflesia, one copy of rude anaconda two copies of sarah here there's nothing uh that's really important to mention other than i would really suggest going for this card over anything else because this card actually does extra burn damage if your opponent has no monsters during the end phase they just take a thousand burn damage great stuff indeed but yeah i, I think this could be an okay option i was also thinking that um because you don't have to have your summons completely go off every single turn. Uh, an excellent option would be to run more lava golems so you don't get every single one of your plays negated because uh, while you could run Nibiru, uh, you still have obviously have to deal with the uh, the card itself. You can still, maybe even as a bigger troll option, run three copies of Nibiru and then when Nibiru has like, you know, that, that 10,000 plus attack because you tributed a bunch of monsters, you go ahead and hit him up with that cylinder and I think that that is like the higher level of troll. Okay, uh, Mike, on, Mike, on. Okay, so someone mentioned since we, since we are. Oh, did I spell this wrong? Uh, oh, whoops. Mike on. Okay, this is the card that has. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, so, anyways, uh, if you guys aren't following me uh, on Twitch, by the way, follow me on Twitch and you guys can catch me live uh, doing these uh, gameplays and stuff. But uh, this is the card that half. So, I would recommend playing these two and would do whatever you want to go uh, go ahead and do to drop uh, another card. If you want to, you can drop like maybe Goldenbergs. You don't have to go for the. Uh, rank four engine if you want to but i think that these would just make the deck a lot better overall uh but definitely you still want to play some of the trap tricks because it lets you just add those whole cards um because it lets you add one whole normal trap card which this card would count as so i would still keep mermillo and uh, deona to go ahead and bring back mermillo and then obviously you go ahead and set another uh grave hole because i think this card's good anyways Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. If you are new here, hit subscribe, turn on that bell so you don't miss out on new Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. But thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one, and I'm signing out. Peace.